Wedding uni weather. Hello there. Well, it's going to be another unsettled few days with a lot of wind and a lot of rain too. That's all down to the fact that we've got a very strong Atlantic jet stream bringing a succession of pretty strong low pressure systems toward the UK. And if we look at the charts over the next few days, I've highlighted one key feature. Just get out of the way for a moment. It's circled there and it's just a developing wave cyclone which over the next few days becomes the dominating force behind our weather. Of current though, we've got a very shallow low pressure system just to the south of the UK and we're currently in its warm sector. But the good news for Friday is that after the cold front moves through, the air becomes clearer and we'll see more sunshine, which will seem quite pleasant after we only saw 29% of average in Reading in November. But notice already just how much that low pressure system is deepening. And moving forward 24 hours, it's deepened 39 millibars in, in that 24 hour period, which is enough to classify it as having undergone bomb cyclogenesis. Or to put it in the media friendly term that was a pretty much a buzzword last winter, it's a weather bomb. And what that does is drive very strong westerly winds across the UK thanks to these tight isobars. Early on Saturday we're looking at strong winds in the north, but through Saturday into Sunday the tight isobars shift further south. So into Saturday night we're looking at some very blustery conditions in Reading. But will it be enough for this low pressure system to be a named storm? We've already had Abigail, Cloda and Barney and if we do have an amber warning issued by either the Irish Met Service or the Met Office then it will be named Desmond. So let's have a look at the warnings we've currently got in force. Well they're all yellow. On Friday it's in the north and then it shifts further south as the weekend progresses and these are for the strong wind gusts and also the rain too. Looking at the output from the GFS model though, this is for tomorrow evening, and we see that it's expecting gusts of 70 miles an hour in southern Scotland and North England. And then for Sunday morning, 60 to 70 miles an hour in the southeast corner. Now, although the warning is currently a yellow warning, with these sort of wind gusts, it wouldn't surprise me if it was upgraded to an amber, and we did indeed see our weekend dominated by Desmond. So, do take care, don't get blown away. Thank you. Wedding.